Hey, what's up guys, this is Altaric here. You've probably noticed that AI is popping up in all sorts of places these days, right? Whether it's producing stunning artwork, producing music, or engaging us in conversations through chatbots, naturally, this led me to wonder, could AI actually create a workout or a training plan? Maybe even take the place of endurance coaches? Now, AI has already made its mark in the endurance world, especially cycling. You can already find cycling apps that use AI algorithms and machine learning models to create personalized training plans based on information you provide like your power and heart rate data from previous rides, your cycling experience, available training time, and fitness goals. AI then keeps an eye on your progress, adjusting your training according to factors like training load, your response to training stress, perceived exertion, and so on. Some AI systems can even predict your functional threshold power or monitor your fitness in real time and can make tweaks to durations and intensity to your workout down to each interval. However, there are certain aspects of fundamental training where AI still can't quite replace human coaches, but the question remains, can AI truly replace human coaches now or in the future? First and foremost, human coaches possess something AI just cannot replicate, emotional intelligence and empathy. Coaches can understand the emotions, motivations and challenges of their athletes and help them push through tough times and celebrate their achievements. It's this human connection that build trust and enable athletes to reach their full potential. Also, their ability to adapt to unique situations. While AI can analyze the data and make recommendations, it lacks the nuance and understanding of an athlete's specific circumstances. Human coaches can draw from their wealth of knowledge and experience to address an athlete's individual's needs and make adjustments on the fly. Then, there are some essential coaching principles that can help maximize your training. For example, understanding training load. Think of it as the amount of training stress your body experiences. This can be tracked with tools such as power meters or heart rate monitors. Then it's how you respond to training load. Everybody responds differently to training stress. You can use heart rate and power to get insights into how your muscles and nervous system uh, are reacting to the training stress. Then you have the feedback from athletes and how the workout felt. Did it feel easy or hard? Why did it feel hard? Are you sick? Are you dealing with uh, work stress? Or your newborn kept you up all night? These are all data points and a good plan should analyze and make adjustments. Lastly, Effective communication is a vital skill for coaches. They can interpret an athlete's verbal and nonverbal cues and communicate complex ideas in a way that's easily digestible. AI, on the other hand, may struggle to convey information in a relatable and engaging manner. Maybe until now. This brings us to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an advanced AI language model designed to generate human-like text based on user inputs. It can be engaged in conversations, provide information, and assist users across various tasks. Its ability to understand context and generate coherent responses is wild. People have been utilizing ChatGPT for a variety of purposes, such as condensing essays, writing codes, summarizing entire books, and even crafting complete video scripts. I have also noticed several individuals experimenting with it to see if ChatGPT can design workouts or generate training plans for them. So I did that. I went to ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to give me a cycling workout and then I took that workout and I uploaded it to Zwift and I did the full workout. So just like any other tool, if used correctly, ChatGPT can deliver valuable results. However, if you casually just ask it to create a triathlon plan for the week, you will likely receive a generic plan, similar to something you might find in a triathlon magazine's back pages. But what if we get a little bit more specific with it? So. I went in there and asked ChatGPT to act as a world-class triathlon coach and write me a 90-minute workout to perform indoors on my bike trainer, and I also gave it some information about myself. For reference, I have been cycling for over 10 years and my FTP is 280 watts. I am six months out of my A race, which is an Ironman 70.3. The workout will be performed indoors using Zwift and my smart trainer in erg mode. And this is what it responded with. 
As a world-class triathlon coach, I have designed the following 90-minute workout to help you improve your cycling performance for your upcoming 70.3 Ironman. This workout is specifically tailored to your FTP and is designed to be performed indoors using Zwift and your smart trainer in erg mode. Workout goal, improve cycling endurance, strength, and efficiency. Then it gets into the specifics of the workout, which includes a warm up. The main set consists of three blocks with a five minute recovery between each block. Then you will find that each 15 minute block targets something specific. The first one is broken down by five minute blocks with power ranging from 85 to 95 percent. Then the second block is geared more towards hill simulation with lower cadence and higher power output. And the third block is over under type interval, then a 15 minute cooldown. But the crazy thing is, it ended with explaining what the workout does. This 90 minute workout will help you build the necessary endurance strength and efficiency to excel in your Ironman 70.3. Remember to stay hydrated and fuel properly before, during, and after your workout. Good luck with your training and your upcoming race. Very impressive, right? Then I asked it to write me a ZWO file if you're not familiar with ZWO files, this is basically an XML code that Zwift uses for their workouts. And it did it. And very impressively. And it even gave me full instructions on how to save the code, where to copy it, and gave me the Zwift workout file location for Windows and Mac OS. The only thing that it missed is inside the Zwift workout file, you will find a folder with your Zwift ID and that is where you want to copy that workout file. But to its defense, in a previous code version that it wrote for me, it told me about the user ID folder. And the other notable thing that I should mention here, when I started playing around with ChatGPT, I, it used a recovery tag in the XML code. Zwift does not use a recovery tag, so I just told ChatGPT to not use a recovery tag as Zwift doesn't understand it. And now it just knows not to use it. Pretty impressive, right? Then I asked it to modify the workout as I've been sick for the past two weeks and I haven't uh, done much riding and keep it under 70 minutes. It responded with this. Hope you are feeling better now. Here's a modified version of the workout designed to be less intense and 70 minutes long considering you have been sick and haven't been riding much. Workout goal, regain cycling endurance and strength at, the, at a gradual pace and uh, here's a full workout. And right below that, it gave me the XML code, so I did not have to ask for it again, but it actually timed out on me, so I ended up asking it again anyway. But I love how it included towards the end that this workout will help you gradually regain your cycling endurance and strength after being sick. Remember to listen to your body, stay hydrated, and fuel properly before, during, and after the workout. I also asked it to calculate the TSS and intensity factor for the workout just to give me an idea of how hard the modified workout is. And it did. And even with full explanation and why it used average power in its calculation instead of normalized power because it cannot accurately calculate NP because normalized power calculation requires analyzing the power data in 30 seconds rolling averages and then taking the fourth root of the mean of the fourth power of these values. Damn. Then it said, for a more accurate TSS and IF, you can use power data from your workout and software like Training Peaks or WKO. I do like how it referred me to use Training Peaks for a more accurate TSS calculation. That's what I would personally do if someone asked me about TSS or normalized power, I would send them to Training Peaks or ask them to use WKO. So anyway, I followed the instructions and copied the file to the Zwift workout folder, then opened up Zwift and navigated to the workout section. And guess what? There it was, the full workout. It even referred to itself as ChatGPT, world-class triathlon coach. You know, the funny thing about ChatGPT is how confident and full of itself even when it's giving you the wrong information. And it seems to do that pretty often. And it's super confident when it's way off, like when it told me that Wahoo Kicker Core supports the NT Plus radar. No, it does not. So 
I did the full workout in erg mode and it worked beautifully. I had to drop it down by 5% just because I was still feeling not feeling 100%. But overall, the workout was achievable. It didn't feel that it was too hard or too easy. It felt just right. So here's my take on the emergence of these AI tools. It is truly remarkable to see the capabilities of these AI tools. They can gather this vast amount of information and human knowledge providing quick answers to all kinds of questions and even generating workouts recommendations on the fly. However, it is important to recognize the difference between general purpose AI models like ChatGPT and specialized AI coaching platforms such as TrainerRoad and Exert. ChatGPT is designed for a broad range of tasks while TrainerRoad and Exert focus specifically on endurance training using your own training data and combine it with athletes feedback to provide you with training plans and workout recommendations. This means that ChatGPT may lack the depth of knowledge and expertise in endurance training that these specialized platforms offer. Additionally, ChatGPT isn't designed to process and interpret the detailed training data needed to create personalized training plans. But you know, it would actually be cool if platform like uh, Trainer Road and Exert started using AI language models like ChatGPT to give more human-like feedback. Just picture getting a comment on your workout file like, awesome job finishing that workout, you listened to your body and adjusted the intensity when needed, rest up and uh, we'll see how the next session goes before tweaking anything or even getting feedback on your ride like, hey, it seemed like you went all out in the first 10 miles of your ride, which wasn't great pacing, and that's why your run wasn't so good. Next time, try pacing yourself and keep an eye on your VI value, aiming to keep it at close to one as you can. Wouldn't that be so cool? That intersection of AI and endurance training holds immense potential for revolutionizing the way we approach coaching. While there are still limitations and risks to be mindful of, the advancements we have seen so far are undoubtedly impressive. And uh, as the technology continues to evolve, we can look forward to even more sophisticated AI tools that enhance the effectiveness and personalization of endurance training and I am genuinely optimistic about the future of AI in this landscape and cannot wait to see how these innovations continue to transform the landscape of endurance coaching. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is that the cycling app that take the initiative to push the boundaries of AI driven coaching and training, they will be in a prime position to capture a significant share of the market and set the standard for others to follow. What are your thoughts on ChatGPT and the future of AI and uh, endurance training? We'd love to hear from you. Let's chat in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, helpful. And uh, if you did, please hit that like button. It helps the video and the channel quite a bit. And uh, if you are still watching and haven't subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.